Happy Canada Day. It's Canada Day, baby. Okay? And happy Canada Day to all y'all. I'm your host with the most, holding it down from coast to coast, smooth as the butter that you put on your toast. The one, the only, money flipping Matt Rich, a.k.a. Matt Was Funny. Shout out to Canada, obviously. And shout out to Celeryville, Ohio. Y'all ready for some trivia? I know I am. Woo! I'm so excited. Canada Day. Booyah! Yes! Again, happy Canada. I'm your host with the most. I'm here, all right? What's up, H. Quizzle? Welcome to HQ. Can you believe there's only six months left in 2019? If this is your first time joining us, here's how you play. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions, okay? You got 10 seconds to tap your answer. Right, you move on. The questions start out easy, but they get harder as we go. Answer all the questions correctly, and you win the jackpot, which is now $215,000. Woo! Tonight, if you answer question 11 right, you'll have the option to win a prize and cash out, or keep playing for the jackpot. You'll have that opportunity three more times tonight at question 15, 18, and 21. Extra lives and erasers will not help you on these questions. I can't stress that enough. Just, you got it, okay? You're also playing for points tonight, okay? If you want to multiply your points during tonight's game, you can buy a points multiplier. Get one right now if you see it on your screen. You earn points for every question you answer correctly. Points help you reach new levels. Levels give you free passes on questions, and free passes get you closer and closer to the jackpot. You can earn points and level up all the way to level 10. Tonight, questions 1 through 15 are going to be all about movies, babies. Yeah, because it's movie night. Right. Yeah, oh, Wednesday. We're bringing back Marvel trivia. So it's like the same thing as tonight. Questions 1 through 15 are going to be themed. If you know your Marvel, you'll have a huge shot at the jackpot. That's uh, 9 p.m. this Wednesday. So make sure you're here for it. We have a really cool guest in the studio tonight. He's featured in a new 30 for 30 documentary called The Good, The Bad, The Hungry. Please welcome competitive eating champion and eight-time Guinness World Record holder, my man, Takeru Kobayashi! Come on now! Yeah! Woo! Watch out! Look, it's him! He's here! All right, listen up. It's Canada Day, okay? And the 4th of July is coming up. Kobe, I want to challenge you to a hot dog eating contest. Okay? Anytime. That's right. I'm challenging you. The world record holder. Okay? It's for the children. We each have three hot dogs in front of us. All right? So uh, let's see how fast we can both eat them. You ready, Kobe? Yeah. Oh, you want you want hold? There we go. Oh, you got the special special cup. Uh, put some time on the clock. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. That. Damn. You're good. You are good. Just as good as they say. You gotta give me some. Uh, I can't finish those. You. I was. I'm still chewing. All right. I would like for you to give me some hints. I haven't finished here. I'm not gonna. I can't. I'm gonna save that for later. With me. And right. you have one more. Yeah, put that in my <laughs> I got pockets, man. Alright, give me some hints for how, like, what, what is your, your, your strategy? I don't dunk through the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, you dunk I'm, it. I'm, I'm not going to Uh-huh. That's what I, that's what I focus through. I do watch it, I'm not Okay. Well, Okay. I tried, man. I'm trying to get hot dogs in the pocket now. Can you sign this for me? 
Yeah, yes. I'll get a pen or something you could autograph. That would be so fly. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Kobe. Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys, make sure you check out The Good, The Bad, and The Hungry, only on ESPN, my man Kobayashi, the hot dog champ. What? Come on now. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you, man. For sure. All right, babies. Nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one. The new Netflix film, Murder Mystery, mostly takes place where? Mars, Japan, or Europe? All right, the movie of the summer. Yeah, it's definitely the movie of the summer. This Adam Sandler, Jennifer Aniston joint goes to Monaco and Lake Como, and it's very glam. Europe is the answer, babies. Whoop, whoop. 198,633. Them hot dogs got me a little. Ah, it was tasty, but I can't eat them that fast. Don't get knocked out of the game on the tough questions. Stay and play with me. Extra Lives in tonight's game. Yes, three. And you can buy them all right now if you see it on your screen. You can also buy Extra Lives throughout the game. Okay, tap on that little heart icon down there. And don't forget, you cannot use Extra Lives on a prize question or after question 12. All right, here we go. Question number two. What is the game in Molly's game? Baseball, poker, or boxing? Molly's game, y'all. What is the game? in Molly's Game. It was nominated for Oscars, but it was still underrated in my opinion. It's just Chastain learning to run a poker table based on a true story. Poker, 196,369 of you got it right. 69 is also the number of hot dogs that, uh, that Kobe has eaten the most. There was a joke there, I'm not gonna do it. All right, question number three, here we go. Who directed the 1990s remake of Cape Fear? Martin Scorsese, Quentin Tarantino, or Michael Henke? Who's it gonna be? At question number three. All right, featuring an unforgettable turn by Juliette Lewis and inspiring a hilar hilarious send-up in The Simpsons, this Cape Fear was a Marty Scorsese joint. 178,744! Ready for some more. And question number four. Whoop, whoop. Let's get it. All right, question four. Which of these movies' top two stars were not a real life couple at some point? Pretty Woman, Days of Thunder, or Green Lantern? Lock in those answers. We're playing for $215,000. All right. As far as we know, Richard Gere and Julia Roberts didn't hook up in real life. Julia was too busy leaving poor Kiefer Sutherland at the altar. 122,072 knew what to do. All right, a lot of y'all got out on that one, but if you want to stay and play, you know what to do. You know what to do. Just tap that extra life, get back in the game. You got to be in it to win it, okay? Here we go, my favorite part. Ready? For the children. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, question five, question five. Ah, 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 question five. It's for the children. Here we go. Question five. In which movie featuring inherited children is there a kid named Elizabeth? Raising Helen, Baby Boom, or Life as We Know It? What's it going to be? Ah. The classic tale of selfish people inheriting babies and then learning how to love through inherited babies. Ah, here it is. We hereby request that J.C. Wyatt act as guardian to our only child, Elizabeth Alice Wyatt. Mm -hmm. What a genre. Anyway, Baby Boom rules. One of Diane Keaton's best. Baby Boom. That's a savage question. Oh my God. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. 50,000 of you got it right. There's so many of you that just got knocked out and I feel bad about it. But you can stay and play, keep it going, all right? We're going to question number six. Here we go. Who starred in the original Mr. Deeds Goes to Town? Cary Grant, Gary Cooper, or James Stewart? Move 
sleepy night, babies. Hope you got your popcorn ready. All right, in this movie, Adam inherits billions and gets to date Winona Ryder. Yeah, he leads a good life. In the original, it's Gary Cooper doing the inheriting. Gary Cooper. 101,164 are moving on to question number seven. Hmm. Can y'all smell the hot dogs? I feel like you can. Put a hot dog emoji in the chat and show me where it's at. Hello. Here we go. Question number seven. In which of these NYC-based movies do the characters not eat at a papaya hot dog spot? Ocean's 8, You've Got Mail, or Do the Right Thing? What's it gonna be? Check it out. If you're in New York, all right, you gotta eat a hot dog. But the characters in Do the Right Thing are a little busy out there in Brooklyn, so they don't make it to the hot dog spot. 62,000. 114 got it right. If you got knocked out, you got to get back in it. That's a savage question, so let's go. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. And then you can use Kobayashi's technique and dunk it in the water. Yeah, you got to moisturize the hot dog. Before, this is for the children, sorry. Here we go. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. The Help was executive produced by a TV personality famous for what? Finance tips, interior design, or tough love? All right, Nate freaking Burkus was an executive producer on The Help. Tied on throw pillows to make the 2012, 2011 hit a reality. Yes, Nate Burkus, interior design, 65,077. Got it right. It's time for question number nine. Y'all ready for this? I'm ready for this. Here we go. Gene Seberg famously wears a shirt with which publication's logo in the French classic Breathless? New York Herald Tribune, Washington Post, or New York Times? All right. Ah. New Wave Cinema. New Wave Cinema. Get your French New Wave Cinema right here. New York Herald Tribune, babies. 39,671 are advancing. Use those extra. Because he was too what? Young, handsome, or busy? I saw him in Central Park one time pushing a stroller. That's when his kid, kid was a baby, obviously. With no grown kids sitting in a stroller. <laughs> Hugh Jackman is Billy Flynn? Yeah, it's a natural fit. Except Hugh didn't think so. He passed on the role because he thought he was too young at the time. Just as well, because uh, Richard Gere really killed it. 33,926 got it right. We're moving on to question 11. It's the first. Go. Get this one right, and I'll be flipping some money your way, babies. All right, now. Which of these is not a real life title of a Diane Keaton movie? That's the way it is. Something's got to give, or end, so it goes. Diane Keaton. She's the queen of inheriting babies <laughs> and starring in movies with super generic titles. Yeah. I haven't seen And So It Goes, but uh, I bet it's fabulous. That's the way it is. 22,493 in the place to be. I'm flipping some money unto thee. Nine cents. What are you going to do? You're going to take it? Next prize. Nine cents going out to 22,493 of you. So, ball's in your court, babies. What'll it be? What will it be? 4,855 players decided to take nine cents. Congratulations! Yeah, to Jip 
Jeep No Pip, uh, RM Cop, and Amanda, and the rest. Question 12, here we go. Dave Chappelle has played a close friend to which of these men on film? Eddie Murphy, Nicolas Cage, or Tom Hanks? Who's it gonna be? I guess there's, there's no way of knowing if they were best friends, but Dave Chappelle stars alongside Tom Hanks in You've Got Mail. Well, that's right. Tom Hanks is the answer, 12,790. Are still in it. Here we go. Question 13. Y'all ready? Let's boogie. Which of these dangers do the kids first encounter after being shrunk in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Dust mites, falling machine parts, or curious cat? Y'all remember this one. It's a classic. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Okay, being shrunk is tough, but the kids do eventually learn to work together and get big again. Okay? But not before almost being crushed by the machine parts. Falling machine parts. Ooh! Savage question! Here we go! Savage question song! Sorry you got it wrong! Savage question song! That's a savage question song. 5,558 got falling machine parts. Question 14. Let's do it. Here we go. The villain from which Adam Sandler movie also played an unlikable character in Kate and Leopold? Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, or Big Daddy? What's it gonna be? And he seemed so lovable in real life, uh, before he was making you wanna get out. Bradley Whitford was Kate's terrible ex-boyfriend and evil Eric in Billy Madison. Yeah, oh! Oh my God! That's another savage question. <laughs> Woo! The savagery is real tonight. Oh boy! One thousand three hundred twelve of you are moving on to question fifteen. That's the next prize of the evening. So let's get it. Here we go. What Newsweek criticism of Waterworld bothered Kevin Costner so much he slandered the source? On set fling, hair choice, or budget problem? Waterworld. They was using dirt as money. Yeah. Dirty money. All right. Kevin Costner was pissed at Newsweek for reporting on uh, CGI to reportedly fill out his hair. He said Newsweek was BS. Hair choice 629. Just got that one right, so I'm flipping some money to 629 HQTs. That's right. $4.79 going out to 620 something of y'all. Okay, what's it gonna be? You gonna take the cash and dash or stay and play? The choice is yours. 393 players chose to take $4.79. Congratulations, Justin. I see you. Ride, I see you. PYs. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that officially ends movie trivia, okay? Question 16 onwards, it's gonna be all general knowledge. So buckle your seat belts and hold on to your butts. Here we go. Question 16. Which of these organisms has more chromosomes than the others? Common carp, reticulated giraffe, or polar bear? Okay, polar bears have 74 chromosomes, and giraffes have 62, but carp have 100 chromosomes. That's crazy. 85 players just got it right. We're moving on to question 17. Here we go. I'm rooting for you, babies. Whoo! Which of these is historically accurate in this painting? Take a look. Is it the flag, the boat, or the uniforms? That in that painting was historically accurate. That's what I'm doing. All right. This is Emmanuel Lutz's Washington Crossing the Delaware. It depicts a flag that didn't exist at the time of the crossing and a different boat than would have been used. So uniforms. Oh my gosh. Ooh. 
five players. That was super duper savage. Yowza. Five players are still in the game. This is question 18. It's time for me to flip you some money if you get this right. And it's going to be a little nice chunk of change. Okay? Here we go. Which of these people was born the same year the Berlin Wall was built? George Clooney, Tom Cruise, or Brad Pitt? Hmm, what's it gonna be? Okay, here we go, babies. The Berlin Wall was built in 1961. The year the hunky, 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 hunky George Clooney was born. Two players got it right. Let me know how much money I'm flipping to two players. Woo! 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 One thousand dollars! What are you gonna do? Hmm? That's, see, there you go. There you go right there. Congratulations! Woo! <laughs> Mm. I think Kobayashi splashed a little water on my hot dog. It was soggy. Oh! That's what I like to see. I love seeing people get money. Congratulations to everybody who won and to everybody that reached a new level. I'm Matt Richards. Follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. HQ continues tomorrow at 9 p.m. with more trivia and 9.30 with words. We're live every day, babies. I love you so much.